Hey, welcome back to Rogue Tech. Uh, we are still in the at the edge of the periphery here in Merrick Space. Um, we're sitting at Elmer right now, and we've got a couple more missions I think we can perform here before we leave. So what we're going to do is just going to quickly jump right into battle here. Let's go to the contracts. Uh, our primary lance, the medium lance, is up and ready to go. So we're going to go do the secure borders for the local government. Commander, the local government of surveillance teams have picked up what we believe to be the signature of an active patrol of Marek Mechs engaging in reconnaissance near the borders of our holdings on this planet. This is technically, technically not a violation of our sovereignty, but it is clearly provocative. We need you to send a message by destroying the patrol of Mechs. Should you encounter any other Marek units, there will be a bonus for destroying those as well. So it's a three skull mission, so a good chance of encountering some heavies. We're going to take in our medium lance. Let's negotiate this. Now we're in the Highlands, so I feel a little bit more comfortable uh, with taking this three skull mission. Uh, our mechs will be pretty much heat neutral and be able to fire pretty much everything all the time. So let's just accept this. We'll have to unslot our pirate lance, who is currently waiting to go on another mission. They'll be following up our mission here with another one. And let's move these guys into position. And let's bring our main mech guys down. So Flatliner back in the trebuchet. We're getting Ground Zero in the Butcher. Height is back in the Blackjack. And Vein Skater is back in the Hunchback. So let's deploy and get this mission done. All right, here we go. Now there's only one difference between this lance and the lance we fielded the last time. Yeah, I see them. Um, and that's we added to Height, we added a the triple, fl the triple plus flamer that we picked up a little while ago. So it looks like we got a vehicle 55 ton up here. There's our reinforcements coming up on this side. So what we're going to do, uh, and what I like to do when there's reinforcements coming, especially when you don't know the weight, um, a battle down here could be particu particularly devastating. So we're going to move to the left here and try to crest this hill, use the height to our advantage if we can, uh, and limit the number of guys that we can fire on at one time. So I'm going to move go. right in the start here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's reserve this and see what they do. I was going to move over there as fast as I can, but there's another vehicle. Okay, I'm not really happy that they're vehicles. So let's see how many medium guys. So this guy's coming down, meaning he probably doesn't have any long-range weapons. So let's reserve right back to turn one. So they're reserving. Okay. So let's get eyes on this vehicle. Okay, there's a mech back there. And this guy is unknown still. So Vedette AC2. Very underwhelming. We're going to fire both on this guy. Not quite a kill. So here comes a 70 tonner. Hopefully it's a Warhammer. Yeah, I can see that. I'm really hoping that we pick up a Warhammer sooner rather than later because I really want to get rid of this butcher for that warhammer and we could use the butcher as the command vehicle in our uh, pirate lance so we're gonna leave the rocket launchers off we'll fire everything else since we're heat neutral nice Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. eliminated okay 75 ton nice Um, let's get height up here. Um, yeah, let's move up right there. So yeah, he's got an extra triple plus flamer in him now. So we were able to add that to the torso. I was going to put it in one of the arms, but then I'm, I realized that uh, it could be potentially hazardous. If we lose an arm, we lose three triple plus, triple plus flamers. I didn't want that, so just put it in the torso and replace the normal flamer. Okay, Flatliner, you have to move, so let's move down over here. End our turn there. I'm kind of excited to outfit all our new mechs, get our lances up and running. We've got that Wolverine we want to bring up. Oh, that's a quick draw. We've got some quick, quick draw parts, if I remember correctly. 4G. That was the mission that uh, everything went out of sync in. So this vehicle I'm not worried about. So we're going to go after this guy right away. So um, I'm going to reserve my turn since we go before him anyway. 
And we're going to get height down there to overheat this guy. Now that vehicle's coming back up. Hasn't made up his mind what he wants to do yet. So let's get height down here. Let's not turn our back to that vehicle. What's our chance to hit? Pretty damn good here. So let's make sure our side is at least uh, facing that direction. As best we can. And we're going to open up on this guy with everything. So maybe we can pick up a few more flamers and get rid of that pulse laser again. So 75 heat, nice. Not a shutdown like I was hoping for, but we'll take it. Okay, so our turn again. Looks like everybody else is heavy. So I only saw two mechs here, and this is a heavy vehicle. So let's capitalize on this if we can. So we're going to walk forward. We don't. We do have an. We do have a precision strike. So let's take ground yep. zero first. We're going to move up over here. And our first precision strike, we're going to use it on this guy. And we're going to go after his leg that's been damaged. On it. And didn't get anywhere close to the leg. <coughs> maybe we can. Maybe, maybe we decide to make him a little nervous instead. He got a CT hit on him. So flatliner, just going to walk it up. And we're going to fire at him with just the missiles. Let's see if we can get a knockdown on him. So we should be able to make him unstable here. A little bit stressed. Commander? And van skater. Let's get him down. We're going to be shooting from the side here. On the move. Full speed. So it's the side that's taken the least amount of damage. Oh, CT's barely got anything left. But we need to have him gone, so let's fire him. Maybe we take his leg off, maybe we don't. Or maybe we take his arm off, I don't know. Knock down, nice. I don't think anything hit the CT. Now he's got 5 health, so we're going to just have to remove him from the battlefield next turn, I think. Don't know if we got a CT or not. Couple missile hits, not a big deal. I think this is the ideal terrain for this. Yeah, he's still got a full CT. Yeah, don't worry about it. They're only shooting a half dozen LRMs, who cares? Who cares? Firing at the wrong guy, though. So that's kind of a good sign. I think there's probably another uh, mech over there. At least two heavies, maybe more. That's a lot of machine gun hits. I wonder what this guy is. At 60 tons. Marsden or something, maybe? He'll probably run. Um, I, I, I don't even know what to say to that. Why would you go there? Like, really? I don't even know what to say. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna reserve. <laughs> That's a bad AI decision if I've ever seen one. So that vehicle we got a what? Tiger T12 for the AC10. Yeah, a little bit of armor. He's in the woods up there, I think. So let's find out what the 60-ton vehicle is. Um, can we get a side turn on this guy? Yeah, a little bit of one. Hmm. Let's do it. I want to find out what this vehicle is. Maybe we can take this vehicle, the mech, and the other vehicle out all in one shot here. So this guy is a PO. Ghost Life Rifle Light and lots of armor. So let's hit him with some barbecue. Here we go. Okay, looks like the Narcan tag hit. Now we're going to capitalize. What's this guy got for armor? Again. Right. So let's start with... Um, let's walk you back to here. And we've got pretty good chances to hit over here on this guy. We can soften him up a bit more. And then we'll decide what we're going to do after that. I'm going to hang on to the rocket launchers. I'm not going to fire them yet, but we're going to fire all this stuff. Let's see what damage we did on this guy. The light goss I'm not really worried about. So some pretty good damage. Let's try then. Waiting move ground zero back. 
me go here. I copy. And we're going to target the uh, quick draw. We're just going to fire. We'll probably CT and kill this guy. Right. Nope. Was really hoping on that. So, did we get any CT? No, we didn't. We just got all torso. Okay. Well, Standing flatliner, by. let's double finish these guys up here. Going to move forward. We're going to fire everything. Multi-target. We're going against him and him. The missiles are going to B and everything else is going to A. Okay, there goes the left torso. And hopefully this will be enough to kill that side of the vehicle. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Not quite enough. Pretty close though, I think. They've got lock on me. Yeah, 65 tonner. There's the 75. Sensor lock all you want. Another sensor lock. Jeez, he's got like no evasion now. We hit all the front that time. Okay, they want to get serious, so we need to kill these guys at the site fast. That was the what? 70 ton. So I'm thinking... Orion, probably? Damn it. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah. Okay, quick draw is making a break for it. Don't blame them. Okay, so Tiger. Let's deal with the tiger first. Gonna come back here. Heading out. And let's fire on the tiger. Firing on target. Problem one solved. Porting vehicle destroyed. Okay, now, What's up, Bob? Van Skater, let's move straight up along here. And we're going to split fire. So we're going to multi target. Quick draw, and the Poe, the Poe's getting B, is getting the Gauss rifle. Okay, so he's unstable or unsteady now. Really? Ready to rock. Okay, Heights next. I want to bring him back. I don't want to get him uh, into a position where he has to worry about being hit by all those other guys. No so he's coming back. We're going to flame this guy up. Warm him up a little bit. Knock down, okay, shut down. Right torso's gone. Another pilot injury. Not bailing out, though. I'll, I'll give him this. He's, you know, determined to stay in the fight, that's for sure. Okay, question is now... Okay, this isn't probably the best choice. We're going to multi-target the uh, Poe and this guy. Quick draw, we're going to hit him with some missiles. And we're going to put our lasers on this Poe over here. Can't even hit the front, eh? Just can't even hit the front. I just want to scare this guy. Maybe he'll bail out. Or, or destroy him. That'll work, too. <laughs> we can salvage that. Yeah, I do, too. So, what do we got here? Like, five on the front. Are you kidding me? Really? So, here comes these boys. They can see us from distance now because they're sensor locking us. So we're going to move around behind this hill so they can't get direct fire. There's another mech. So this is that a 75 tonner? Large laser. LRM-10. What's a 75 ton with a large LRM-10? What do we got here? One, two, two 75s, 70, and a 65. So good potential for lots of good salvage. We just need to play this right. So we should be able to kill the Poe next turn. Don't like the fact that we're getting hit, but that's we'll take it. Okay, so since we're not worried about these guys over here right now, we're going to kill this vehicle and get to a position where we can actually reduce our heat. So uh, let's sprint along this road, try and get up here as far as we can go. Going full throttle. Get max evasion going, and we're going to fire on this guy, kill him. So that's the primary lance gone. Vehicle down. Took us a while, but we're going to have to decide 
out of all these guys over here, which guy we want the most. So we're gonna have to sp we're gonna have to figure out. I'm just gonna reserve. Got to figure out who it is we're gonna target. Got a lock on me. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's move Flatliner first. They're not gonna move in as long as they can keep getting locks on us. Rolling. So we're gonna brace here. I want to move to a position that doesn't give them the advantage to shoot us all in the open. So I want to get around with his trees and some stuff between us and them so that we can move behind it if we're taking too much damage. So we're going to maneuver around here. It'll probably take us a turn or so to get around here, but in the long, in the long run it's totally going to be worth it. No shooting, just running. We're going to bring height up and behind here. I've been sensor locked. Yeah, I can see that. What are your orders, Skipper? So we're gonna bring him over here. I got you. I think what we're gonna do, since the 65 tonner is kind of over there by himself, we might try and focus him down first. Let's see what they do here. So that's probably a thunderbolt. Large laser and missiles. Okay. What's up, boss? So we're not quite there yet. Let's get around here, get in the forest. As long as there's sensor locking us, they can still hit us from a distance, so we gotta be in a position where they can't see us, so they can just use missiles on us. Got it, Commander. Okay. Yes, Commander. So let's get actually let's get height first. Confirmed. Just gonna move one, and we're gonna brace here, and then I want to get Van Skater up behind. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, now we're in a position to strike. They got a lock on me. As long as your sensor locking, they're not firing. I've been sensor locked. So if we're going to pull out, we're not going to be able to pull these guys in if they're, all they're going to do is sensor lock. Except for that 70 tonner who's decided he wants to come around and see what's going on. So let's see if we can get line of sight on him. Or that 65 tonner. But I think if we pull... Hmm. Damage is minor, Commander. Okay. Going to reserve back one turn. What are your orders, Skipper? Let's start this up here. Let's get height in. Let's get in this battle. Quick in. So what do we got here? We got Stalker 4P. I thought Stalkers were 80 tons. That's a lot of lasers. Okay. Defiance. I don't think that counts as a... Uh, no, it's a 75 tonner. It doesn't count. They got lots of good shiz on that guy. Sure enough, Thunderbolt. Okay, let's barbecue the Thunderbolt. And then we'll get out of here next turn. Hopefully we shut him down. Doesn't look like we will, though. Okay, 60 heat. We'll take it for this turn. Um, so we really want to get rid of this guy fast so we can deal with the other guys. So let's work with Flatliner first. Maximum movement. Going to get him up here. Let's see if we can get some instability on this guy. Going to fire everything. Okay, cracked him with a little bit of instability. Hey I'm thinking that ground zero probably is the best bet for the second one for more instability. We want to be in the forest. Going to move over here. Should have good chances to hit on this guy. Certainly do, 73. So we're going to fire both PPCs and a tag. Right arm gone. He's unstable now. Now we can follow up with Van Skater. We want to try and get him as far to the right side as we can. Roger. Not quite enough for a side shot, but we're going to move in. And I think probably what we're going to do... No, nah, rocket launchers are only... Yeah, we'll wait for we until we have a better chance with the rocket launcher. So we're going to fire off everything here. Right torso gone. Stability check failed. So he's going down. Score. Critical hit. So now we've got two choices. We can pull back 
and melt out of range of these guys the next turn. Or we can push forward into the mouth of the uh, beast here. So we've got a cataract over here. Now I think we've got some cataract parts as well. That's a light PPC, I think. Spiky PPC, is that what it was? Here comes, here comes some overheat. Now if that defiance wasn't there, I, th I would definitely move in and uh, try and overheat the stalker. Although he, the stalker's pr staying pretty cool. Oh, don't melee, don't melee, don't melee. No, 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 no. We got five chevrons of evasion in the woods. Please miss, please miss. Please miss. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> thank God. Okay, the thunderbolt, we're gonna have to kill him next turn. Don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, he's coming forward too, okay. And I, I don't know why they do that. I really don't. Okay, so ground zero. Um, we want to get to a point where that Defiance cannot run over and attack us. So we're going to move over here. Now I'm wondering, Defiance has got what? Four Chevrons? This guy's got three, but he's guarded. 67. Same chance to hit with both. I'll do more damage on the Defiance. I could try an offense. No, at 67, I'm not going to bother. Let's remove the Thunderbolt from the battle, or at least try to. Copy that. Only with one, eh? Oh, pilot head hit. Okay, cool. I wonder if that was the... Uh, it was just the tag, I think. Alright, so let's use Flatliner next. We want to get as much movement as we can. Moving back. Once again, we're going to throw everything against the Thunderbolt. Maybe we get lucky and get another head hit and take him out. Come on, we just need one head hit. One head hit. Come on, you can do it. Unsteady, he's lost cover. Bane Skater, we need to get you back. Going to do this. Going to fire on this guy. And I'm thinking... 105 in the CT, 73 here. I'm thinking we're just going to breathe on him. Actually, I want to shoot with the rocket launchers, I think. And one maybe one medium pulse. Because if we knock him down... He failed. Okay, so we'll get maximum salvage for the Thunderbolt. Cool. That's okay. Did its job. Excellent. He's out cold now. Okay, so height. We got two choices. Cataract are, like, deadly in, in uh, melee... So let's get ourselves. Um, can't fire in any of these places. So if we're not going to be able to fire, let's go somewhere like this. Okay, so that's our first hit and run. Force them to move forward now. Force them to use their turn up by doing sensor locks. So this is our second tar target right here, the Defiance. They've got a sensor lock on me. That's okay, let him sensor lock. Let him sensor lock, it's, that's fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. Minimal damage on that hit. Okay, so we're gonna reserve. Skipper. I know I'm taking a chance by doing this, but uh... We're going to bring Height in again. We're going right after this guy with all our flamers. Sixty heat. Okay, cool. Now we are going to do a few things here. First of all, Flatliner, we want to move him back over here, getting a side shot on that guy, and we're going to do an offensive push on him since he didn't move very far. We're going to go for a headshot and just fire. Okay, so he's ignoring injuries to his head. Yes, Commander. So that's not good. So let's move back here. Got it. And then we're just going to shoot this guy. Oh, come on. I can't miss with one. I got to hit with everything. Receiving you. We're going to back up. 
get some stability back, and we're going to fire on this guy with everything. Taking the shot. Guys, you can't miss with the big guns. Come on. Okay, he's unsteady. Chances are he won't attempt to melee this turn. Up in center lock. Oh, maybe he will. Here comes the stalker. Really? No. Please stop. No, 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 no. Damn it. Gotta run. We need to run. Armor blow through. Internal damage. He's gonna try and cool off probably. Yeah. Okay. Ground zero. Ready for orders. We gotta keep moving. A little bit at least anyway. So we're gonna fire on this guy. Great chances to hit. Tagged again. Okay, let's get height out of there. Full sprint. Oh, yeah, no full sprint. Full move, anyway. <sighs> Fire everything on this guy. Let's hopefully we shut him down. Please, please shut him down. Now we missed a bunch of stuff. 90 heat, though. Excellent. Okay, flatliner. Stay in the trees, buddy. Let's just stay where we are. Ah, uh, we better not. I almost said let's stay where we are. That would be a big mistake. Okay, let's sprint it over here. Gives us a better chance to hit that defiance. Once again, offensive push. Gonna go after it. Well, let's not go after a headshot. Let's just fire. Leave the small laser off. Let's leave the medium ER off. Get a bit of heat back. He's shut down. He's not shut down. What am I doing here? There we go. Now we can go. And we'll just fire everything. Okay, advanced skater. Let's move ourselves to there. Not getting very many chevrons of evasion, but we're getting enough to at least uh, force them to use um, uh, sensor lock on us. Oh, are you kidding me? With the Goss rifle, you missed with like a 96% chance. Are you kidding me? Trying to stay cool. You kind of look like a fool. Cataract. Okay, two misses. Perfect. Let's see what that stalker does. He's going to melee again. Really? Well, at least it wasn't the back this time. 54. I can deal with that for now. Okay. Ground zero. We're gonna move, we're gonna shoot on the defiance. Ninety one percent chance. Should we try to leg him? What would it be if we tried to leg him here? Sixty seven. I think we can probably at least hit with one. Let's go for a leg attempt to leg. Right leg destroyed, knock him down. Now while he's on the ground, um, we need to deal with this stalker. So I can only move again. We're going to move behind him. Get his stability back and we're opening up with everything on his backside. Hit with a lot more this time. 60 heat. Well it seemed like it was a lot more. Okay so while well, that guy is overheated is this forest? It is. Okay, so we're going to walk over here. And we're going to target the guy on the ground. Going after the other leg. We might get lucky. Chances are you'll just CT him. Yeah, figures. Critical hit, Commander. As long as he's off the field. Flatliner, same thing. Uh, we're going to back ourselves up so the stalker can't see us. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. Going to shoot for the leg, but chances are it's going to be CT. Um... What do we got left? 114. You know what? Let's get him off the field. Let's try and get him off the field. There we go. Flying debris! Okay, cool. One less guy we got to worry about. Now we're going to put some pressure on the stalker. Cataract coming around. Firing from distance. Boy, these guys are getting really... Okay, I'm not going to say it. That's... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just about to say their targeting is getting terrible. As soon as you say that, that's when they get a headshot. Going to reserve. Height's going to move forward. Let's deal with the stalker again. I want to be able to see both the mechs because I want to be able to shoot both if we have to. Stalker in the backside. Good chances with everything. Here we go. So what do we get heat-wise? 90 heat. Okay. Critical hit. Nice. Alright, Flatliner, let's get out of that zone over there. I move back here. On my way. Double time. Give them some distance to come if they want to come after us. And we're going to fire everything on the Stalker straight out. Nice. So now ground zero again. Uh, we're going to back up over here. We're going to shoot the Stalker. Hopefully making him unstable for T-Hor to follow up. Two hits, making him unstable. Now we can get Vanskater to move to staying on the side. Is this in cover? That's not in cover. Let's move. Uh, if we want to get a side shot. Got to move all the way over here, I guess, just to get some evasion going. So we're going to shoot on the side. Maybe we get lucky and t hit the leg, but I don't know. Confirmed. Okay, leg hit. Nice. Staying stable. All right. Reporting nope, knocked down. Nice. Okay, three or four. Gotta expect these higher level, like these higher level mechs. Uh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Yeah, time for the Wolverine to come back. Gotta get the Wolverine in here now. Wolverine's got lots more armor. It's reserve. Hi, don't die on me, buddy. Don't die. That's all I gotta say. Gonna move over here. Keep the left side to them. Lose a bit of stability firing everything on here. Yeah, this flamer build's not working on this guy. So I think what we'll do is we'll shift the flamers down to uh, our lower level guys. All right, now we can really start working on this guy. Um, we gotta worry about that cataract. So I think probably what we're gonna end up doing. How's the back doing on this guy? We're going to move uh, as much as I don't... I'm going to have to sacrifice the Stalker, I think. Or we're going to move behind the Stalker. Put everything into his backside. Yeah. Hope we can salvage that. We're starting right. to jeopardize pilots' lives here. We don't want to do that. So we want to stay and hit him on the side if we can. So let's just back up a little bit. I'm get out of his his movement range. Gonna fire on him, leave the small laser off. Let's leave the ER, this other ER medium off so we can get a couple turns of full firing. Okay, I think we have cataract parts. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really remember. Played so many games of Rotec, I can't remember uh, what we've got and what we don't have. Should probably keep a tally and keep it beside me. So let's fire on this guy. Low chance with the Gauss rifle, but it's fine. Yeah, he's milling again. We're going to punish you for this, buddy. Oh, thank God. Turn your back to us. You're going to get punished. Waiting for order. I don't even need to move. You, you know... There's a lesson for you right there. Never turn your back to the enemy when they got dual PPCs. Mission. All right, well, we lost an arm. Not a big deal. 133,000. We know we have to get rid of this uh, blackjack now. So a couple of flamers and a medium pulse. Those flamers, I'm really mourning the loss of those. But we still got three others plus a double plus flamer. I think what we'll do is we'll pull those and put them on the lower level mechs. We're going to move away from the flamer build now. So we got a good chance. Cataract parts, a lot of defiance parts, one quick draw part, eh, one stalker, a lot of thunderbolt parts. Cool. So let's see what we can get to recoup some of our losses. We got an ultra AC10, which we've already got. Light Gauss rifle. I mean, light 12 tons for 50 damage. It's only five heat, I know, but the 12 tons is like just use an AC10 for crying out loud. Um, so pirate ER mediums. 
Weapons damage varies. 20 heat though. 6 variable damage, 6 melee damage. Reduce damage at longer ranges. So you have to be close for this. Mm, X pulse, 18 heat for 30 damage. 5 variable pulse accuracy. Mm. Triple plus PPC. Let's just drop that in for now. I know, I, I like the big weapons. So let's see what we got down here. Fusion core for money. Let's put that there. XL gyro. We've got... Uh, let's just drop it in for now. Let's see what else we got down. No exchanges or anything, guys. Come on. And no steel. We've got... We've got one left now. Well, two left, sorry. So that should still be enough. Don't think we really need the endo steel. Uh, case, maybe? At higher levels, maybe for the case? I don't know. Pirate PPC. Um, what does it do here? PPC debuff, 20% crit. 50 damage, 35 heat. 530 uh, distance. Mm, not really worth it. Alright, let's take the endo steel. Let's just do it so we got it on hand. Any dead fire ammo or anything? No. Oh, we got dead fire SRM ammo. Ooh. Well, hello there. Let's lose the fusion core. See, cataract. Well, we do have six cataract parts already. I want, I want the dead fire SRM ammo. Let's confirm this. So one, two, three defiance parts, a quick draw part, and a thunderbolt part. Pirate ER, X pulse. Um, yeah, we did okay. I think we did okay. We did okay. Let's just continue. All right. Well, fifty-eight thousand in repairs. We're just going to do that. That's fine. So I think what we're going to do before the end of the episode is we're going to have a quick look. Let's go to the mech base. Go to our base here. With that dead fire ammo, I'm thinking now that the Wolverine we can get with a little bit more punch. So let's have a look at this guy. We're going to refit him. Now we have to keep in mind that um, I'm going to be pulling the Clan XL engine out of the Blackjack. So we're going to have more uh, heat ability in here. So let's just pull out these guys for now. And let's look at adding, first things first, I want to add, um, let's go with the SRM double pluses. We're going to drop those in. And we're going to drop in the SRM dead fire ammo. Let's leave that heat sink in there for now. So how many rounds are in here? 80 rounds. And we have 100 for here. So it's 180 rounds, so 12. So that's what, 10, 15 turns of firing? That's plenty. So we're going to start with that, I think, as our base. Now the dead fire ammo means we have to be in close to be able to use it successfully, but with plus 50% damage, and these missiles um, are doing 10 each, that's going to be 15 damage each, so it's 90 per rack, 90 damage per rack, so it's 180 damage right there. So I feel pretty comfortable about that. So what we're going to do is going to go to equipment real quick, and we're going to start adding uh, some other stuff. So we're going to need ferrofibrous more than likely. Uh, we're also going to need, let's say, ECM Guardian. We'll definitely need that. We're going to need the exchanger that we picked up with our Light Lance. We're going to use a bigger engine. Let's start with the 250 and an XL Gyro. Now we don't, we're going to have to put a double heat sink in too because we're going to need that at some point. Uh, Endo Steel needs to go in. Um, and we've got the Artemis system we're going to drop in as well, which is going to increase. SRM special ammo can't use it together. Okay, well, that might change things a bit. I think we're going to leave it for now. Although we've got, what, 673,000. And a little bit of time before the end of the month. There are some things in the store that I might buy. Not 100% sure yet. Let's just leave it like that. So we're going to max out the armor real quick just to make sure where we're at here. We're going to lower it just a little bit. Two, three, four five six so just like that so we got almost a little over 10 tons left so now we have to decide what's our heat sinking at right now 45 23 so um, let's grab the clan cockpit with increased sensors and breaching shot it's very very handy to have 
Uh, let's put our arm back on here. Um, now let's go to weapon systems, and we got laser points left. We got three laser points. I'm thinking we got two choices. I like the the clan lasers because there's only four tons. You know, you add one with a double heat sink, and it's you know it's the same weight as the large laser. But I'm going to take this large laser only because he's got bonus accuracy and bonus ev evasion ignore, so there's a bigger chance to hit. Damage is slightly less, heat slightly less, but I think overall that's probably the better choice. So that's going to be my big punch weapon, and I think maybe we just add an ER medium in here as well. Then we can just drop the rest as heat sinks. So let's go to equipment. Uh, and let's go to heat sinking. And let's grab a bunch of heat sinks here. And put four in for now. So that's bringing us up pretty close. Yeah, now I think I can probably successfully go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight off the legs. I know people say, don't take the leg armor off, but it's really difficult to, uh, okay, let's switch this arm around. It's really difficult to, um, for me to, to justify not taking it off when I almost never get hit in the arm, in the uh, legs. So, um, Okay, before we go out of here to buy that thing, let's put in one more heat sink. And then we will go and just get a... Actually, let's move the arm hand over here. We don't really need anything on this side. Because we don't have any weapons here, so it's not a big deal. And we're at 60-62. That looks pretty darn good. Now, I, d I don't think it's... I mean, unless we're in close, it doesn't really have that huge of a punch. Um, I'm going to move the exchanger into the head, too, because we really want to make sure we don't lose that. If we lose the head, we lose the mech, or the pilot, and then it doesn't really matter at that point, but let's leave it in the head and protect it a little more. Um, so, figure 90 each, and then, you know, 28 and, and 50 is another 80. So, you know, 170 if we hit with, or 270 if we hit with everything. So that, I think, is pretty good. I think we're going to go that route. Let's move a heat sink down in the leg here. Spread them out a little bit. All right, so we're going to go with this. Uh, lots of armor, much better than the um, blackjack that we had running. Better back armor and everything. So we're going to confirm this. Now we can always come back and revisit this if we put the Clan XL engine here, which we probably will do. It should give us around another six tons of weight that we can play around with, which is awesome. So we might lose the uh, one of these. I think we've got Clan Endo or Clan Ferris in the blackjack which we can put in here and it'll give us some more slots for stuff so let's just confirm this so the next time we play we're gonna have this guy in seek in uh, service it's 17 days um, and when the blackjack's back we're just gonna strip everything off him. so I think what we'll do since pirate lance is up next um, we're gonna prep that lance to make sure that they're gonna be ready for battle so we want to bring in um, let's see here the fire starter so let's manage our tasks a little bit and see what we got going on. So the fire starter has got to move up to the front. Get it in there first. Blackjack. Not quite ready. The Vindicator does need to move up. Let's put him first. The Trebuchet, we can move down. Because that's the additional mech that we have. And this is our Trebuchet. Hunchback, Blackjack, we want to keep up the top, I think. Because once he's fixed, we can flush everything out of him and then... Yeah, let's do that. Let's close. Do that. So our Pirate Lance is pretty soon going to have um, mostly medium mechs, which is going to be nice. Now we didn't get that... Um, we didn't get the uh, Warhammer part like we wanted, but we're on our way there anyway. While in Elmer, you get a message from the commander of another mercenary company passing through. After some formalities, the message is straight to it. My boys tell me that you have animal on your crew. As one commander to another, I need to tell you that animal, animal is not a good hire. They're a backstabber, uh, and only common decency had me leave them on a station instead of booting them through the airlock when I fired their ass. Be careful with your crew, and keep in mind the mech warrior with a bad reputation can bring down the reputation of your whole outfit. Hmm. Now, most of the time when I take this message, I talk to the pilot about about the warning, but sometimes this can be negative. But I'm going to do it anyway. Let's talk to him. I thought I finally found a place where I was trusted, but I can see even ex-cons can't get a break. Whatever, I get it. You're watching me. Is that all? No lasting consequences. No, I'm not watching you, man. 
So you got a name and you you got a great name and you got a uh, handlebar mustache and you're not going anywhere. Okay, so that puts the pirate lance ready to go, I think. And let's have a quick look here um, in the barracks. Let's have a look at the mech warriors before we go. And I think uh, yeah, these guys are actually starting to be ranked up, but we'll do that in uh, waiting for, waiting for order. in. Um, I'm ready. Pirate Lance. So we're going to have a quick look here. I don't think we quite have enough to get what we were hoping for Order. here. Height's got enough for gunnery, but we're not. We're going after piloting. Van Skater. Okay, so we're going to go. Interesting. We're going to go down the gunnery line, I think. Yeah, we're going to go down the gunnery line. Let's confirm that. Okay, so. Um, that is the end of this episode of Rogue Tech for today. Um, if you like it, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, so I'm going to just uh, sign off for now and get right into another episode of Pirate Lance. I'll see you later.